He got his head stuck. All I could think of is just imagine if that can was on your head. It could kill you. You could suffocate in that thing. So I'm like, I gotta do something. I try to get this raccoon out of the can by pulling it and twisting it. It's lodged on very tight. Like man, I need help. I need a towel or something. Yeah, yeah. So she brings out her yoga mat. Every time we put the mat on the raccoon, it wanted to take off running. Really stuck on the uh -uh. It's not coming off. Even with that kind of force of two people pulling apart, we couldn't get that can off. Well, you know we could use some kind of cutter. I know, but I don't have any. Do you? The house. How far is the house? <laughs> It'll take me five minutes. I don't want him to go. You know. But he might run off into the woods. You know? Yeah. I don't have to worry too much that he's going to go very far and run away because I know for sure he's getting more and more tired. I go back, I know I have some cutters that can cut right through tin. All right, I just went and got these from my shed. Try to cut off that can. See if uh, the raccoon is still there. All right, let's see if we can get this. Where is he? Oh, he's in there. They are like 150 feet away in a new location in the field. He lied. He was just taking a break. It's in the trunk of my car again. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. This guy showed up in his construction truck. Hey, was he just out in the parking lot then? Yeah, he was just laying there. He was moving around. And I think that's what we needed, that one more person that could really get a good grip on this raccoon. Just gotta, just gotta hold him down like a like an alligator, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I held him. You just need one guy to hold him and the other guy to cut. I saw something like that uh, with a bear. You might be able to twist it as I saw in the nose. It didn't hurt him at all, and I just started cutting it like butter. Save them! Now just don't get ran over now. He was definitely a healthy little guy with a long life ahead of him. Thank you guys.